Are you just starting to learn English or thinking about it? The first thing you should do is turn on the subtitles for this video. Watch this video at least one time with the subtitles on, so you understand it 100%. There are subtitles in many languages. Activate the one in your native language. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you start learning English is you must define your goals. This is very important because all future steps, what you need to do, and how you're going to do it completely depends on what your goals are. So what are your goals for English? Do you want to be able to speak just a little bit of English so you can travel and use English for basic needs and basic communication? Or do you want to be able to easily have a conversation in English and be easily understood? Or perhaps you want to be at a certain level because you need to take an English exam in order to emigrate. Maybe you want to be as good as a native speaker. You must define your goals, because if you don't, your learning won't be focused, and you might be wasting time studying things that you either don't need or shouldn't be studying. Defining your goals will enable you to be efficient in your learning. For example, your English learning journey will be very different if you're trying to ace the TOEFL exam versus if you just hope
understand you. But if you're aiming for accuracy in your English, make sure you learn the correct pronunciation from the start. The longer you go pronouncing a word incorrectly, the harder it'll be to undo the error, because your muscle memory informs how you speak, and it's really hard to pronounce something differently after you've been pronouncing it the same way for months or years. Same goes for accent, meaning intonation and how you produce the melody of the language. You must get it right. Or at least close to right from the beginning, and then you can continue to refine. Now, if you don't care about accuracy and it's not part of your goal for English, then the attention to accent and pronunciation may not be necessary for you. You decide. All right. The next tip is, don't waste a lot of time searching for learning tools and resources. Some people spend way too much time looking nonstop for different apps and things like that. In fact, the search takes place of the learning. Or maybe you might use a resource, and every week you search for another one. I recommend you use four different resources. Commit to them, and understand that not any single resource is going to be perfect nor complete. That's why you should use four, but whichever you choose, stick with it, at least for some time. Try to resist the urge to constantly change resources. The four resources I recommend are: one, a grammar-based app such as Duolingo. The interface is pleasing and they make it fun to use. It's also good for building basic vocabulary. Two, use YouTube for listening practice, where you consume native speaker content. Three, get a private tutor, but don't become dependent on your tutor. You should use your tutor to resolve ambiguities and answer questions you're not able to get answered by using Duolingo or YouTube. If you can't afford a tutor, find a language exchange partner. But again, make sure that person is a native speaker and can function as a tutor, and you can be the same for them in return. And the fourth resource to use is something like Clubhouse, where you speak or listen to natural conversational English for free. And these four resources should be used in concert, meaning use all of them. They all work together to build upon each other and accelerate your learning. Never use just one of these. For example, if you use only Duolingo to learn grammar, your English will never be good enough to carry on a conversation. You must, I repeat, you must use all of these resources if you want the best results. So that's it. To recap. My recommendations to all beginner English learners are: one, define your goal; two, speak when you're ready to. There's no rush. Three, when you do talk, talk about things that interest you. Four, pay attention to accent and pronunciation from the start. And five, don't spend too much time searching for learning tools. Thank you for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and leave in the comments one or two tips of your own. Bye for now.